you hug everybody. It's Peter back for yet another video. Hi to everybody out there. This vi uh, video is for Brody. Hi Brody, who wanted to see my rock um, books. Now this is not all of them. I have a lot of them at my place, but some are still at my brother's place for for uh, from way back. So I've still got to get them from him. I will. I will do so. But this should be interesting. Brody wanted to see this. Um, I'll just talk a little bit about the books too. But I was really big into reading rock biographies at one time. I haven't uh, read one for ages, but I was at, at one time I was really big into it. But and I still like it, but I just haven't done it. And the first one I want to show is um, this isn't bad. It's not awesome or anything, but you two, the complete guide to their music. Just a. Uh, an overview of their music, basically. And uh, it's just go, it goes through all the songs. You can see it's got Unforgettable Fire there in each song you can see. I think you can make that out. Some nice photos as well. It's not overly great, but it's not too bad. And yeah, some U2 there. I think it goes up to... Um, the last album it's got, the studio album, is um, All You Can't Leave Behind. Yeah, it talks about it. So it's, you know, it's not new or anything. It, it's a bit out of date, but um, it's not too bad. So that's you too. Okay, next one is one of my favourite books um, about, you know, you know, everyone knows how I love the Doors, and this is an awesome book. Jim Morrison biography about Jim and the Doors. Uh, no one he gets out alive. Very famous book, and a great book too. Really delves into the um, the fascination of the Doors and that, that period of time and what was going on with Jim Morrison. Very good book. I read this years ago. It's got. Um, uh, some nice photos as well. There's Jim again. So well worth well worth reading, guys. This one, uh, one of my favourite books, actually. Uh, no one he gets out alive. Um, these aren't any particular order, but uh, this is not a bad. The Kerrang Files, the ACDC, the Definitive History, really good book. Brody has the album by album. Um, book, which I want to get, uh, the Martin Popov book. I really like Martin Popov, um, watching him on uh, YouTube. And, um, yeah, and um, he's he's done that book, the other book that Brady has. But, yeah, this is pretty interesting, just taken from the Kerrang! magazine, you know, delves into their history and so on. Uh, well recommended, but maybe not the ultimate ACDC book on the market, but a very good book. This one, I, I like this guy, um, but um, this book I found a really hard going. I just felt it just dragged a bit. It just really didn't get to the essence of of uh, what I thought it would. Bruce Springsteen by Peter Ames Carlin. It's called Bruce. I just, yeah, just very hard going for me, this book. But it goes through his life. But I don't know, something about it I, I, I couldn't really grasp onto. Is various pictures of Bruce but yeah not one I'd recommend and maybe there are better Bruce books out there probably are I mean I, I wasn't really big on this book for some reason yeah so that's that okay now we'll go on to the mighty Led Zeppelin this is a really good book probably a lot of people have read this a biography of Led Zeppelin when giants walk the earth by Mick Wall Really good book, this one. I really like this one. Well, you got to the crux of Led Zeppelin. Maybe it isn't the greatest book, but it's one of, oh, it's a really good book. Really goes, as Jimmy Page. Takes you through their history. And yeah, some good photos. Jimmy again. Yeah. And there's Robert Plant. So I recommend this one if you haven't heard, uh, read this one, guys. When Giants Walk the Earth, a biography of Led Zeppelin. And there are excellent Led Zeppelin books out there. I haven't read them all. 
uh, I can, I might find another one one day. Now, this is more of a Kerrang files, but this is another one called the most electrifying rock and roll band, ACDC, the Kerrang file, the D definitive history edited by Malcolm Doan, uh, introduced by Megadeth's Dave Mustaine. He does a little write up, uh, like in the front of the book. And uh, yeah, it's got various pictures. More from the Kerrang files, very good history, talks about, goes through the albums. There's Brian Johnson. So this is a really good one too. But yeah, I don't know if it's still in print or not, guys. But you know, there's many ACDC books out there, as everyone knows. One of the great books, I reckon. Um, Highway to Hell, The Life and Times of ACDC Legend Bon Scott by Clinton Walker. Really good book, really good read, this one. Really interesting about Bon and his life, basically, as he went through the other various bands and then and then went on to ACDC. And there you go, there you have it. Some good photos in here. Takes you right up until his death. And um, get some photos in here, should be some photos. There's Bon. So I recommend this one too, more stuff in there. Really good one, this one. Ace, the, the Life and Times of ACDC Legend Bob Scott. Um, real good book, this one. I really like this. is a hardcover. Um, Comfortably Numb by Mark Blake. The inside story of Pink Floyd just goes through the whole history of Pink Floyd. Really good hardcover book. You can read on the back if you like. Freeze it if you want, if you must. But it's... um. Show you some of the photographs. Early Pink Floyd with Sid Barrett. And you got these shots as time goes on. You got the guys there. They are a really good book, this one. I read this years ago. Uh, there's Roger Waters and Nick Mason. So I recommend this one. This is a really good one. Um, the inside story of Pink Floyd. Don't know if it's still around, but um, I liked it. Uh, this is really good too. I really like this. Um, My Journey Through Heaven and Hell with Black Sabbath. Iron Man, Tony Iommi, hardcover book. Really good one. The back, really good. Some um, testimonies there from Eddie Van Halen and Brian May and James Hetfield on the back there. You want to freeze that? You can. And um, some good photos of Tony and his friends and so on. And uh, Sabbath, of course. Tony is a, a young child. And uh, Tony with his dog. Very good stuff. So really good. I recommend this one. It's pretty good read, this one. Tony Iommi, Iron Man. Two more. Now, I've got more books, as I said, guys, but I haven't got them all here. Um, a band that I, I probably wasn't going to be crazy about, but I did like. Did see them live. Um, sort of gone. I don't really listen to them these days, but it's a very controversial book, but very interesting. Motley Cruz the Dirt. I think everyone's heard of this book. There you go. Yeah. Yeah, good band. Not my favorite, never been my favorite band, but um, I did like them for some time. Uh, yeah, there they are again. Yeah, pretty, pretty controversial book. A bit, um, bit out there, but yeah, not too bad. Last one, I like this one as well. Um, Starman David Bowie, The Definitive Biography by Paul Trinka. There we go, really good one. Takes you through Bowie, uh, his career, and so on and so forth. And just a few pictures of the guy. There he is, the great Bowie. And um, yeah. there he is again. So I don't know if this is still available either, but it's uh, there's lots of stuff out there about Bowie. You know, it's endless, but yeah. 
try and track that one down if you if you if you like. And there you go. There you go, Brody and everyone. I hope you enjoyed that. Look at these rock books, and I'll see you guys very soon for the next video. Won't be too far away. Bye for now. Bye.